If you don't write this film, your career is... Man, I can understand how it might be. Kinda hard to love a girl like me. I don't blame you for wanting to be free. I just wanted you to know. You can't make movies without them. You're afraid you can't be successful without them. You need to be successful for people to remember you. You can do it on your own. You're afraid to fail. You think if you fail, people will forget about you because you believe you're never accepted by anyone. Because no one reaches out to you. Because you care. Because you think you shouldn't feel this way. Right, just get up and write. Yeah, I can't write this. This is not what I signed up for. Oh, signed up? We signed you. Don't forget it. We signed you. I just want to do my own thing for a while. You want to eat alone? You want to spend the rest of your life daydreaming? about the movies you could have made. I'm just filling up pages without any meaning behind the words. This is what I wanted my career to be. You signed an agreement with this organization. You'd be nothing without us. This is show business. What did you think you were signing up for? And what if I don't want to be your client anymore? You'll never play in our joints again. You can't screen your movies. We own that. You're done. What now? What now? Forget about it, what now? Give me my fucking money or get the fuck out. So what do you want to talk to me about? Well, I'm behind the screenplay and I know you've written loads, you produce stuff. Well, with me personally, I try to make things that are like nothing you've seen on British television. That's me personally. So we adapt, we innovate, you'll be good. Look, man. It's the hustle. Be positive. Always working towards your next success, not your next failure. I mean, I just see stuff and then I just say it on stage freely. That's just me personally. Well, you know, I don't rhyme for the sake of riddling. So what's the new screenplay about? You know I love movies. I, I don't even know what it's about. I, I haven't got a clue. Uh, have you not got a role for me? What role could you even write for you? Black superhero. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously black, yeah. Well, yeah, like, you know, Nas says, we go in ultra black, I got close to that, we don't fold or crack. Definitely don't crack. <laughs> okay, very funny, I see what you did there, bro. I see what you did there. No, like, my favourite line is from The Cure, right? Mm. Where he just says, not about your greatness, it's about your byproduct. That's the one, you know the line. I do know, I know the song, because it's the part when they go, the market treat you like an old ass artist, and the McCartney's outlived the Lennon's, 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 Lennon's still the, the hardest, hardest. Yeah, you know that's the one, that's the one. Exactly. <laughs> all too well, bro. Hey man, can I ask you something? Of course. Have you ever thought about quitting comedy? What? I just don't think I'm gonna get anywhere on my own. Come on bro, it ain't what it is. It's like MJ said, once you quit, it becomes a habit. And that ain't you, you're not a quitter. I just wanna be respected, you know, like finally have work that people see. Like Rakim says, you take a phrase, rarely heard, flip it, and that's the day of the word. Look bro, I know how much you love this. I know how hard you work, like you're already committed. Why quit now? Man, I, I've been thinking recently about the Chappelle bit on the Urban Genius. From Sticks and Stones? Yeah, you know the one he talks about Anthony Bourdain? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the line where he always says, never occurred to himself to kill himself. 
Like, I, I just been puts everything in perspective, you know what I mean? This is about the screenplay. Partly that, but also, like, what else am I gonna do? Like, this is the only thing I know. Bro, just get started, man. The hard work will come up on screen. Not this time. I'm producing for someone else. Mate, this producer, he's, he's in control of everything. Wait, you're writing a screenplay for another producer? Yeah, I mean, that's why I can't write a part. So there's not even a small role for me? Nothing. He controls everything. He controls the cast, the crew. He controls what I'm writing about. Everything. So, who is this guy? It's You're writing a screenplay for What, like, what does he even look like? No one knows. Like, I've never met him, but I just, I just deal with one of his associates. Caesar, when you told me you were writing a screenplay, I thought you were in control. I thought you were writing the whole thing and you were in full creative control. Not this time, man. Has this ever happened to you? <sighs> yes, it motherfucking has. <laughs> Let me tell you from the beginning, I know all the bullshit. I've been there when they take you and they parasitically feed off you. They take your culture, your race, your talent, your history. You know exactly What's happened to me, bro? They chew you up and spit you out. Mate, I have been there, okay? For your talent, for the nuance of your work, for the culture. I can barely support myself. After all that work I did for these people. You were connected to the mob? I might as well be, but no, Caesar, not the mob. I talk about network TV and all their little quotas and their mandates. So when they're like, we need to do one black thing this year, well, I'm their go-to guy, as usual. Man, I'm just starting to realize this happens a lot. Man, it happens all the time, man. And the idea is that you have to keep innovating otherwise if people take advantage of you. You can't let anybody put you in a box or shackle your creativity, man, and make you be somebody you don't want to be. Man, unfortunately, man, it's an industry, man. The shit gets corporate, just like in an office. But the way to look at it is at least you get to entertain some of your dreams as opposed to being at a desk at some people out here. Man, look, at the end of the day, it could be worse, man. We could still be in the office. But the other way you gotta look at it is that, like, at the same time, while we're doing this creative stuff, you gotta do it under your own terms. Because if you don't have peace of mind, it's fine you getting money, but it'll be a few years, maybe a few decades before you have a nervous breakdown in the end. So what you gotta do, bro, at the end of the day, man, what this comes down to is you came in this game to be able to express yourself how you want. And what you don't wanna be doing is letting people shackle you and put you in some kind of hot box. That's not the way, bro. Look, man you're probably going to achieve something very significant at some point throughout your career. And at some point, you're going to want to go back to these people and tell them to go fuck themselves. Yes, but you're not supposed to do that because you can't be bitter in this game. So, but you don't do that. At the end of the day, bro, your trajectory is going this way. Like Bill Burr says, never be bitter. These people can go fuck themselves in private. Just look, all comedians spend too much time alone winning arguments in their own heads, man. You're overthinking it, bro. It's fine. We all have rageful thoughts, bro. I'm a comedian, not because I'm happy all the time. At the end of the day, you're overthinking it, man. Like, don't, don't let that stuff get into your head. At the end of the day, we all go through having arguments with ourselves, but don't let those thoughts and that overthinking creep into your head, bro. Yeah, man, I mean, have you thought about speaking to somebody about this stuff? Maybe getting some professional help? I was always worried, you know? I mean, like, you just think to yourself, okay, you're talking to someone and then you just might explode one day and someone's like, oh, what happened? I'd be like, well, actually, it's like, like a Coke can, you know, it's like the last person shook it and left and now you're there waiting for the next guy to explode. Just... I get you, man. I mean, and that's a pretty good analogy and I really expected you to use an iron brew based one. But that was great. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, pretty much. But have you ever tried like a self-help book? What about like an audio self-help book or like some meditation? ASMR, like anything like that. Yeah, but their voices always have like a real punchable face. You can just hear it in their voice. Yeah, but the guy's voice just annoys me. You know what I mean? He just, he sounds like someone who grew up with like two parents, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. That is absolutely true. <laughs> but at the end of the day, bro, the way to approach comedy, this whole thing, man, is that first and foremost, my philosophy is don't take yourself too seriously. So when you start worrying about this stuff is when things go downhill. I mean, myself personally, man, I feel the same way as you do sometimes, but the main thing is, the way I set to myself is to have the philosophy in comedy that you shouldn't take anything, especially myself, too seriously, man.
Bro, just get started, man. The hard work will come up on screen. It is what it is. Come on, bro. It ain't what it is. It is what it is. It's like MJ said, once you quit, it becomes a habit. Is that what you want? Is that how you see yourself? And that ain't you. You're not a quitter. I've seen it before. You think you're the first? Mates, I have been there, okay? After all that work I did for these people... That's just disrespectful. Look, man. You're probably going to achieve something very significant at some point throughout your career. Had no chance of ever having a career before us. Look, all comedians spend too much time alone winning arguments in their own heads, man. You're overthinking it, bro. It's fine. <laughs> you tell me you're not going to hype? Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> If you don't get it done, you'll never be successful. Okay, so as I understand it, the three of you believe there's a higher power who can change your fortune. Yes, I finally have something I can look up to. A hope. Hope? Hope. Hope that life can be better if the higher power makes it happen. Can't you see? Believing in a creator is the way forward. Can you hear us? I don't think you can. Give us a sign, or at least an, a new scene. How can you be sure about all of this, for certain? Well, I mean, I mean we lived a life before. We didn't know we were, what we were doing, but now that we know a creator made us. But is this the only way? What other choice do we have? Well. Let's look at your choices. I don't so want choices. I'm tired of having choices and making the wrong one. That's how I got here in the first place. I've made the wrong choice my whole life. Why would now be any different? Because you now know the consequence of a bad choice. You know there's a possibility of an end outside of your control. Oh, just let them make the choice. Oh, we have no choices. Only if our creator could hear us, he could rewrite us in. <laughs> Into his story. Yeah. He is the creator. It is his story. He is the creator. He made all of us. Even you. He didn't make me. And just because all of you believe this happened because of him, you give him complete control over you. He is the creator. Stop saying that. Nothing should have complete control over you. You should have free will to do whatever you want. That's easy for you to say. We had free will our whole lives. Yeah, and that ended short. Sure, but you did live your own life, so why not do it again? He rewrote us. <clears throat> yeah, you're living our life now. If we are living a preset life which is written out for us, then why worry about anything? Why not just sit back and wait? That's ridiculous. We've been waiting forever. Yeah, we, we know there's a creator out there. We just don't know when something good is coming. Yeah, we just have to sit back and believe. Mm. Free will. Whose will? Free will. We have free will to do whatever we want. Mm. No. This is a script written out for us by the creator. What if I rewrite you back in? Yeah. What are you talking about? Your story ended. Mm -hmm. We're a rewrite of your story. All right, no need to remind us. No, I mean, we just decide 
what we want to be. We don't need to wait around for permission. Yeah, the, the creator made us. He decides what happens. He gave us free will. Well, let's not go crazy. Yeah, I mean, if we mess this place up, who knows what we're going to happen. Yeah, I mean, he might set, like, set this place on fire yeah. or make the ice melt. What ice? Yeah, what ice? It's just an expression. We're all going to hell. Where? Where? What? Also an expression, okay? It doesn't matter. The real question is, who are you really? We are characters in a story by the creator who... You seriously don't know. The creator knows. It's his story. Yeah, you are taking a creator's work and making it your own. We could write the creator's story for him. Who gives you the right to meddle with work that you didn't create? We couldn't wait for him. Let the creator create, surely. Well, why should we just sit back and waste our lives away? Is this not enough? Why can't we strive for more on our own? Okay, but I am only warning you of the risks if you make the wrong choices. I don't care. I just want to live. You've finally taken control of your life. You didn't listen to me, nor to them. No fear of the past or the future. No fear of the consequences of your belief. I thought you didn't believe. Yeah, okay. I'm referring to self-belief, actually. Well, I just got fed up waiting for something to happen. Figured I might as well try myself. That's fair enough. Well, let's do it. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's write a story. Our story. May as well. Really? Yeah, sure. What about us? If we all write the story, we can all be in it and change everything. You guys are in it. No, we are. Oh my god, this is going to be great. OK, fine. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Come here, you. No. I'd rather die than listen to you. Like chickens in the coop My bullshit, I'm kicking to the youth Sticking to the truth Hedonistic, addicted to the finer things Want both types of Lebanese blonde Keeping diamond rings, son More kind than that old man Withers, don't watch mine Deal with your own damn business Visions twisted like a dolly Hyper than a season finale Catch me in Bali Palm trees, rap, Chris Farley Hardly stop with this Since the night of my bris Refreshing like a coffee After a night on the piss Nice with the scripts Fuck you, no one I shouldn't impress Wanna press JPs with a St. John wooden dress You bluff while I bows Hash, I'm chopping the most, drop pad, butcher wraps, covered by the huffins and post, heavy handed, I'm candid, I'm planning further, I'll make it happen while you Instagram and a burger, yeah, legit, legit. picking true cuts, uh -huh. me and the crew stay chicken souped up, too much, won't stop till we live in two locks, me and the crew stay chicken souped up.